Hello, guys. Good. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to this class. This is class number five. So we are a quarter ahead of our module. Today, guys, we finish with uh, two and four. We will continue working with that one a little bit. Vamos a continuar un poco trabajando con el two y el four. Today will be the last day. Uh, let's see. People, let me ask you before we start. Uh, let's see. Look at this image. Vamos a empezar looking at what image. And la, 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 give me a second. Okay, look, look at all this, all these things. What are these things for? Okay. What are these things? Teacher, Tell me. Eh, podría mover eh, la parte, la sombra de Sorry. arriba. La yes, podría yes, mover. Yes, yes. Si me hace el favor. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Uh, that's better, I think. People, let's see. What are these things for? People, these shoes. For what? Are these shoes for running or for playing soccer? For what, Carmen? For what are these shoes for? Repeat, please, teacher. What are these shoes for? Para qué son? What are these shoes for? These is uh, ballet for ballet for Good. ballet excellent okay uh what about this thing guys for what look for what let's see i don't know jacqueline for what is this object what is this object for Cook? Cooking? Is for cooking? cooking? For cooking what? What do you think, guys? Rice, beans, soup. For what? Repeat, please. For what food? You say for cooking. Yes. But for cooking what? Para um... qué? Para qué cocinar? Con eso. With that. Para oh. qué será? Para qué cocina? Para qué comida? For what food? Uh, how do you say sopa? So. Soup. 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 Mira el chat. Ahí mandé cómo soup. se escribe. Soup. Okay, for soup. Yes. What else? ¿Qué más? What else? Guys, any other idea? Otra idea? What else? Oh. Um, coffee? For coffee? Mm, do you think for coffee? For use. For use. Salvadorian. Yes, Salvadorian thing for use. Uh huh. <laughs> for, what else? For you, are you, are you, are you mm. For what you said? Rice? Atoll. For atoll. Yeah, of course. For a toll, for soup, for meat, probably stew meat, carne guisada, un gran platón, stewed meat, stewed, stewed meat. Okay, people, what about um la, 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 this this object, this rod, rod, este 
palo, this rod, for what? For fishing. For fishing. Okay, good. What about this little house? For what? Go camping. For, For camping. camping. Okay. Good. Let's see, guys. Look at these objects. What about this? Crayons. For what? What do you use crayons for? Coloring. For coloring. Painting. For painting, coloring, decorating, probably. Good. Uh, this one, guys. What is the name of this yeah. object? ¿Cómo se llama este tipo? Any idea? In Spanish, we use a word in English. Ocupamos una palabra yeah. en inglés para referirnos. Wipes. Wipes. Wipers as well. Wipers. What are wipers for? What's the purpose of this one? For, for cleaning. Rest. For cleaning. Good. Excellent. Um, 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 um. What about this pumpkin? For what reason the pumpkin has a face? For what reason? ¿Por qué tiene cara? For what reason does the pumpkin have a face? Uh, for celebrate for Halloween. Halloween. To celebrate Halloween. Good. Halloween is coming, people. Well, long time. Uh, Swaps. Look at the chat, guys. Swaps. For what do you use the swaps? Swaps. Swaps. For what? In cleaning. Cleaning In what? My, uh, how do you say, oidos? Here? Ears. Ears. ears for cleaning your for ears cleaning. Yes. people doctors say that inside no it's not for inside it's for the outside it's for the outside not for the inside the inside we don't have to touch it Pero es rico. so good people that's today's topic when do you use for? When do you use to? Ya lo vimos, mister. <coughs> yes. <coughs> I'm sorry. But today, we will continue with this topic. <coughs> so, guys, two and four. Look at the statements. I am studying English for... Uh, I am studying for improving my English. Or I am studying to improve my English. Which is correct? ¿Cuál sería el correcto, guys? ¿Cuál creen? I am studying for improving or to improve. No me respondan. Más adelante me van a responder. People, vámonos aquí de un solo, guys. Later we will come back. People, we use to in these situations. Vamos a recordarlas un poquito. We use to... To talk about destinations. We use to. To talk about the hour. Vamos a ver un poquito eso de la hora guys. Let's go right now. How do you say the hour? People. La estructura va a ser. Minutes. Minutes to the next hour. Ok. Minutos para la siguiente hora. For example, guys. Uh, let's see. 
Bueno, copien la fórmula aquí, people. Let's write the formula. This is a formula. Minutes plus two plus next hour. Y el otro es minutes plus pass plus Ok, la hora actual. Minutes to the next hour. Minutes plus past plus the current hour. Esa es la estructura. Ya la vamos a entender ahorita, guys. Just copy it. Ok, how do you read the time? Sí, usted me puede decir, what time is it? 8.11. That's ok. But some people will not say this formula. Some people will say it in a different way, like in Spanish. Son las ocho y once, o hay gente que le dice uh, diez pasadas las ocho. O le pueden decir cuarto a la una, que es lo más común, right? Diez a la una, cinco a la una, veinticinco a las doce. So that's a different structure. Did you copy it already? ¿Ya la tienen? Vámonos yes. right now. Let's yes. go. Yeah. Okay, give me a second. Let's go right now. Let me show you something. Analog. Over. Okay, let's see. Okay, people. Look, this is the hour right now. So, from here, from here, de aquí, acá, vamos a ocupar el chu. Here we use chu. Y de acá. De aquí, acá, vamos a ocupar el pass. Ok, to and past. That's how we will use it. Let's see. For example, this hour. Ok, yo sé que esta parte... The left side, el lado derecho, es, perdón, lado izquierdo, es two. The right side, el lado derecho, es past. Entonces, aquí, it says nine. So, porque vamos contando backwards. So, nine. Nine, two, ¿cuál es la próxima hora? La próxima hora van a ser las seis. Entonces yo digo, primero minutos, luego two, luego la siguiente hora. Nine, two, six. Pero casi nadie dice números así. Vamos a ocupar múltiplos de cinco casi siempre. Entonces yo digo, ten, two, five. Ten, two, six. Ten, two, six. What about this hour? Ok, otra vez. Minutos, two, y próxima hora. Próxima hora es dos. Minutos, yo sé que el ocho es cuarenta. Entonces yo digo, cuarenta menos sesenta, veinte. Right? So, twenty, two, two. Twenty to two. Ok? Twenty to two. Let's see another hour. Again. Six, seven. So, minutes, next hour. 43 está más cerca del 45. Entonces, yo digo quarter. Esto es quarter. Ok. Quarter to seven. Quarter to seven. Ok. Let's continue. Solo me está dando de two. Ok. Now, ya tenemos un past. So, minutes. ¿Cuántos minutos? Tres. 
redondiémoslo a 5. So, it is 5 past, ¿cuál es la hora de ahorita? 9. 5 past 9. 5 past 9. Ok, 6. 1. Otra vez lo redondeo. 5 past 1. 5 past 1. 6 past 1. To be accurate. 20 past 10. Doubts, people. Dudas. ¿Cómo ocupar el tú o cómo ocupar el past? Okay. Let's see. Marvin, what time yes. is it? Is you see? 25 past 6. Excellent, mister. Let's see. Carmen, what time is it? Ten past. Mm, first minutes. Eh, Primero eh, los minutos. Okay. Sería five past. Eh, five past. Five past ten. Exactly. Five past ten. Okay. Minutes past current hour. Current hours. Thank yeah. you. Good. Let's see. Next one. Jacqueline, what time is it? Uh, one past ten. Good. ¿Y qué tal si es en punto, guys? I think you know it. How do you say 10 en punto? 10 o'clock. Okay. You can use the military hour. So the military hour, change it to 24, is the 22 hours or the 2200s. Some people will say that one. So don't get, don't get like scared when somebody tells you this one. Uh, let's continue. I want to listen to Nelson. What time is it? Um, four. Four. Oh, no, four. Uh, 20, 20, 20, 25, 2, 8. Uh, no, 8, six. 6. Again, what hour is, excuse me, what's the hour? What time is it? Um, 25 to 6. Thank you, mister. Good. Excellent. Let's see. Another person. Uh, Diego, what time is it? Twenty... Twenty-two past four. Okay. Very specific. Good. Another one. And let me listen to... Karen, what time is it? Um, Twenty past six. Twenty past six. No, look. No está en este lado, está aquí. Entonces sería... Ya estamos más cerca de las 7. Sería entonces. Yeah. Look. Primero los minutos. Los minutos faltantes para la próxima hora. ¿Cuáles serían estos, Lady? Fifteen. Uh, you can use multiples uh -huh. uh, five, multiples of five. Fifteen. 
Fix. I would say sería... 40. Yo diría 40. Más cerca. 40. Uh -huh. Son las, las 640. Entonces me quedarían 20. Diría 20. Four. 20 to 6. 20 to 6. Yes, 20 a las... Sorry, 20 to 7. 20 a las 7. Okay. 20 to 7. Ok. So, okay. Re remember guys, ¿a cuál está más cerca? ¿Cuál es el que está más cerca? So, si está en el medio, ahí usted decida qué quiere. But in here, looks like it's closer to 8. So, you say 20 to 7. 20 to 7. Carla, what about here? What time is it? 10 past 7. 10 past 7. Good, excellent. Right on. And let's see the last one. Volunteer, what time is it here? No, this is not very fácil. 2.30. Two and a half. So let's see another one. Volunteer, what time is it here? Hi, Mr. My name is Walter. Go, Walter. What time is it? Uh, maybe uh, 10 to 12. 10 to 12. Good. Excellent. People, what time is it here? What time is it there? <laughs> Two o'clock. Okay. If you want to be a specific, two, two, two. Okay, <laughs> two, two, two. That's it. Hey, good, people. So going back to the topic, we use two to talk about the time. También ocupamos el past. Pero lo que nos concierne ahorita es two. It's quarter to two. Okay, distance. For distances, guys, you use from... Cualquier distancia. Minutos, horas, kilómetros, whatever. From to. People, I work from seven to three. From seven to three. Rango. Okay? What, from what time to what time? Esa es la pregunta, guys. From what time to what time? From what time to what time? De qué horas a qué horas? From what time to what time do you work? From what time to what time do you work? I work from seven to three. Okay. What about Reina? From what time to what time do you usually work? Teacher. Give me a second. Yes? Eh, repeat. Eh, la formulación de la pregunta es from what time to what time? Exactly. Ya se lo pongo ahorita. So, the question will be this one. Ahorita, como quiero saber tiempo, from yeah. what, what time? What time to what time do you work? From what time to what time do you work? Y usted responde, okay. I work from ta ta ta. To Tarara. Reina, what time from what time to what time do you work? Um I I work from um to eight o'clock uh, at five o'clock. Two five o'clock. Sorry. To five. Repeat. Okay. Don't you see? 
I, ah, okay. I work I work from eight o'clock at five o'clock. To five o'clock. Ah, o sea, no es at, no que es to. Si fuera hora específica, si yo le preguntara, at what time do you finish working? Uh, y se me dice, ah, at okay. five o'clock, a las. A las Pero cinco. Aquí es Ajá. desde hasta, from to. Desde las 8 hasta okay. las 4. Ok, teacher, déjeme, okay teacher, déjeme entender. Entonces, cuando hay rangos de tiempos, voy a usar el to. Exacto. From Pero to. cuando tengo, por ejemplo, yo digo que yo voy a eh, a itiner eh, to 8 o'clock, ahí tengo que ocupar at. O, at. at I, din okay. I eat dinner at 8 o'clock. Y ahí. ¿Por qué ah, no está diciendo okay. un rango? Si usted me dijera, ah. yo estudio, yo tengo mi clase desde las 8 a las 10, I have my, my class from 8 to 10. Porque ah, ahí okay. me está diciendo el rango que ocupa. Okay. Eh, o sea, entonces la respuesta sería, I work from 8 eh, o'clock to 5 o'clock. I work from 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock. In your case. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Jennifer. From what time to what time do you work? I work from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. 7 a.m., 6 p.m. A yeah. lot of time. Teacher. So, tell me. Eh, I have a question. Cuando Go yo ahead. voy a decir AM o PM, no es necesario decir el o'clock. No. O siempre se dice. No, no, it's not necessary. From pues 8 to 5. Sí. No, en realidad el o'clock es por, solo para decir horas en punto. ¿Qué hora es? 8 en punto. Ok. Pero si usted va a decir así en general, I wake up at 8. Ahí termina. No es necesario que diga o'clock. Thank you. Si lo dice, no está malo tampoco. But it's not I necessary. People, <laughs> pero no solo. Don't worry, lady. So, people, no es necesario. No solo se ocupa para tiempo. Lo puedo ocupar para distancia. I know it's raining, guys, so don't worry. If you get disconnected, I know because of the rain, okay? People, how long does it take you to go from your house to your job? ¿Cuánto le lleva? Bueno, aquí es tiempo. ¿Cuánto le lleva ir de su casa al trabajo? Y ahí viene usted. From my house to my job takes me 20 minutes, okay? 20 minutes, okay? También puedo decir, what's the distance to, no, le pregunto, where, hey, where is the, where is the supermarket? Ah, well, from my house to the supermarket, It is like four blocks. It is like 10 blocks. It is 20, 20 minutes. Los americanos para distancias ocupan minutos, right? Entonces, ellos miden las cosas en minutos, no en kilómetros. Nosotros casi sí lo medimos en kilómetros. Ok. ¿Dónde está la... ¿Dónde está la, la tienda? Ah, como dos cuadras. So, we are using blocks. But Americans would say, uh, five minutes. Five minutes away. Okay? 
So, como en el ejemplo que tenemos en la presentación. It is about 10 miles from my house to the university. Hay alrededor de 10 millas de mi casa to the university. It is about five miles from my house to my job. But I have to cross the city. So, podemos ocuparlo para distance. Pero en general, para rangos, guys. You use from, to. When you compare things, I prefer sleeping. Yo prefiero dormir que trabajar. I prefer sleeping to working. I prefer... Guys, I prefer... Uh, let's see. I prefer cooking to washing the dishes. I prefer cooking to washing the dishes. Dos cosas, los compara. Cuando usted le dé algo a alguien, siempre es to. I gave it to you. I gave it to my sister. I gave it to my dad. Okay. Eh, like that. Okay. Así se ocupa. That's how we use it. Questions, guys. Preguntas. Hasta donde hemos llegado. Destinations, what time, distance, comparing or giving. Teacher, con el tema de giving, cuando, cuando, ¿qué dijo, perdón? Cuando se le da algo a alguien, decía. Cuando usted le da algo a alguien. O cuando ese alguien le da algo a usted, siempre va a ser tú. My sister gave it to me. Mi hermana me lo dio a mí. Ese a mí iba a ser to someone. To my sister, to my brother, to cualquier persona. Any other question, guys? People, if I get disconnected, porque aquí se va la luz siempre. So, just wait for me. Wait, no se salgan. Eh, because it's thundering. Está tronando. It's thundering. Eh, people, motive and reasons. Motivos y razones. Why are you studying English? I am studying to improve. Entonces no es for improve. For improve is incorrect. To improve is the correct way. I am studying to improve my English. That's it. This is incorrect. ¿Por qué? Remember, motivos, razones, usted las dice con to. ¿Ok? I am studying English to visit my family in the United States. I am studying English to travel to United States. I am studying English. Siempre piensa en un verbo. ¿Por qué estoy estudiando inglés? Quiero una posición. To get a new position. Para obtener una posición nueva. I am studying English. To improve my life. To repair my house. To help my family. Y cualquier cosa. Ok. And that's it. That's how we use to. Questions, guys. Preguntas. Así nos pasamos al for. Okay, let's go to four. Four. Four is used in these situations. Okay? Para decirme cualquier beneficio. Yogurt is good for your digestion. 
uh, people, I have heard, he oído, I have heard that tomatoes are good for your skin. Are good for your skin. Piel. They are good for your skin, tomatoes. I don't know if it is true. I have never investigated. So, they are good for your skin. Savila is good for your hair. Especially if you're bald. Savila. Aloe vera, actually. Not Savila. Aloe vera. It's good for your for your for your skin. Too. People, what about carrots? What are carrots good for? Can you tell me? Uh, carrots. They are good for what? A carrot is good for my vision. For your eyesight. Look at the chat, people. Mira en el chat. Eye sight. For your eyesight. Para la visión. Yes. Thanks. What about okay. fish, Thank guys? You. What is it good fish for? Do you know fish? For concentration. For the brain, they said, for concentration, for memorization, for coordination, they say. Entonces, benefits, people, we use for. Periods of time. Esto lo van a ver después, ya cuando vayan a intermedio uno, van a ver el present perfect. Pero acuérdense de algo. Si usted quiere decir que ha vivido, que ha trabajado, que ha estudiado, que ha, empe well, que ha practicado por tanto tiempo algo, ese por va a ser for. We live. We have lived. Hemos vivido. We have lived here for two years. We have lived here for two years. Hemos vivido aquí por dos años. I made an appointment for May 3rd. Schedule events. Scheduled. Scheduled. Repeat, everybody, guys. Scheduled. 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 Okay. See. Repeat. Schedule. Schedule. Good. Excellent. I like the pronunciation, guys. Así se dice. No se dice schedule. No se dice schedule. No. Schedule. Okay. Schedule. Cosas en horario. Cosas que ya están agendadas. Usted dice para el 3 de mayo. For May 3rd. Para el lunes. For Monday. Para dentro de dos semanas. No, ahí decimos in two weeks. Para fechas, usted va a decir for. May 3rd. For the next week. For the next year. Cosas que ya las agendo. People, si usted apoya a alguien, usted dice I am for. Okay? You like the president of El Salvador. You say I am for the president. Yo estoy a favor. For. Are you for? or against the development, el desarrollo, of nuclear weapons, armas nucleares. Are you for, or are you against, is the opposite. Are you for, or against the development of nuclear weapons? Are you for, are you against? Creo que esos están fáciles. Okay? Vamos a los que son un poquito más complejos. El primero. Siempre que haga algo por alguien, ya sea que cocine, que le ayude a resolver un ejercicio de matemáticas, que le explique algo, que le cargue algo, you will say for. I cook for you. I prepare this sandwich for you. Le estoy ayudando preparándole este sandwich. So, I prepare. I prepare. No, I answer the email for you. Yo respondí el email por usted. Okay. I I send the information for you. And so on. 
Okay. Preguntas, people. Do you have any question? No questions. Everything clear. Right. Right on. ¿Se acuerdan que dijimos motivos y razones? Lo ocupamos para, bueno, ocupamos verbos para decir motivos y razones. ¿Por qué está estudiando inglés? Para conseguir un trabajo. To get a new job. Pero, guys, aquí también se vuelve a repetir. More even reasons. Pero en este caso ya no ocupamos un verbo, people. Ocupamos un noun. What is a noun? ¿Qué es un noun, guys? What is a noun? Any idea? What is a noun? Exactly. It's a substantive. Cualquier cosa que rodee el universo. For example, the cell phone. Uy. The glass of water. Well, this is a, a cup of water. My glasses. You're here. Todos esos son nouns. Entonces, people, ¿cómo es esto? Dar motivos y razones, pero con nombres, con sustantivos. Bueno, ¿para qué está estudiando inglés? Para, yo estoy estudiando inglés por el dinero. I am studying English for the money. Esa es una razón, pero ocupando un noun. I am studying English for the opportunities. I am studying English for the future. I am studying English for the promotions that I can get. Por las promociones que me puedo ganar. Promociones en el trabajo. I am studying English for the challenge it represents. Por el desafío que representa. That's why I am studying English. Entonces, people, ahí es donde lo ocupo con motivos y razones, pero con nouns. Vámonos a nuestra primera oración. I am studying English. I am studying for improving my English. No, cambiémoslo, hagámoslo un noun. I am studying English for... I am studying English for, I am studying for, for, for what? A new job. For my new English job, podemos decir. Okay. I am studying for my new English job. Y no digo improving. Improving would be incorrect. So you don't say for improving. That would be incorrect. So guys, I am starting it. I am starting for my new English job. For my new English position. Okay. And that's the way it goes. Preguntas, people. Do you have any question here? No questions. Let's continue. People, finalmente, ¿se acuerdan del ejercicio que estábamos haciendo al principio? What are these objects for? Y ahí vimos unos zapatos de ballet. Entonces, yo tengo dos opciones. Puedo decir... Uh, well, the shoes are for ballet. O... Puedo decir, the shoes are for dancing. Cuando usted me diga para qué sirven las cosas, cuál es el objeto, para qué fue creado, ahí vamos a ocupar ING, guys. For example, let's say, give me a second.
Vengo y yo le pregunto, what is WhatsApp for? Para qué fun cómo funciona? ¿Cuáles son las funciones de WhatsApp? Ah, Mister is for sending audios. For sending audios. Or for sharing pictures. Compartir imágenes. For posting. For posting status. Para postear estados. For what else? For chatting. For texting. Para chatear, para textear. What else? For calling? For calling, oh, of course. For calling. Y para todo esto, WhatsApp ha sido creado. Okay? That's what it is. What about, guys? What about Excel? What is Excel for? What is Excel for? For what? Any idea? What am I I'm sorry? Uh, how do you mean, uh, how do you say formulas? For formulas. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, formulas. For formulas. Also for... Oh, come on. Let's see. Give me a second. For um, people for gathering and collecting data para almacenar y recolectar información for gathering collecting data data for analyzing data right for analyzing data for processing information for uh well you, you name it. Para eso es Excel. For creating graphs. For displaying mathematical information. For displaying num numbers. For calculating formulas. For that. Y podemos pasar a PowerPoint. What is PowerPoint for? For presenting images. Presenting information. Presenting presentations. Uh, presentation slides. And what about... Microsoft Publisher, ah, for creating uh, brochures, flyers, so on. What is, uh, what? And I can continue, okay? ¿Para qué sirven las cosas? For example, como vimos, right? A ladder, los cucharones, ¿para qué sirven los ladders? For what do you use ladles for? Ah, uh, for eating soup. Entonces, people, vamos a ocupar el... We will use for para explicar la función de las cosas. Para qué se ha diseñado algo o para qué se ha hecho algo. Por ejemplo, guys, no es necesario que esté diseñado. Give me a second. For example, guys, imagine, imagine this.
you are saving money. Está usted ahorrando dinero. Y viene alguien y le pregunta. Uh, this money, what is this money for? ¿Para qué tienes todo este dinero? Oh, it's for, it's for buying my, for buying my, my flight ticket. For buying my flight ticket. ¿Por qué? Porque la, el, el único propósito, la función de ese dinero, no es nada más que ir co comprarse el boleto de avión. Entonces es for buying. ¿Ok? Usted tiene ahí unos, unas uvas, pero usted las va a dejar porque son para un postre. Viene alguien y le pregunta, Hey, can I eat these grapes? No, 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 no. I, am, I will use them. They are for make. They are for preparing a, a a pie. No sé, whatever. Porque la función específica de esas uvas son para el pie, para nada más, ¿ok? No son para comer, no son para vender, son para el pie. So that's it. Questions, guys. Do you have any question? Is it everything clear? I have questions for you. People, right now, work with a partner. Let's do it alone, okay? Select which is the correct. Two or four. ¿Cuál es el correcto? Solo pongan la respuesta. O si quiere, para que tenga toda la información completa, escriba todo. ¿Ok? It's better for you to have it. Así va a entender. So, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do this little exercise. Hagamos el ejercicio, people.
Did you finish? Terminaron, people. Did you finish? No. 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 Okay. Any more time. Okay, people, let's go. Let's see if it is correct what we have done. Give me just one second. Karen, no, number one, please. Karen, can you hear me? Yes, um, no estoy segura, pero work, working is good to all. Health. Good, repeat. Our health. Our health. Our health. Our health. Our health. So, good. I'm not saying that is correct. Ya vamos a ver si está correcto o no. Thank you, lady. Uh, Carla, okay. can you help me? Number two. And we stand to peace. We stand to peace. 
Okay. Number three. Help me, Marvin, please. Hello, and uh, number three, uh, the government should do something for the poor. Repeat, something, something, something for the poor. Okay, next one, number four, Walter, can you hear me? Walter, you're there? Let's see. Sandra, can you help? Uh, can you help me please here? Okay, I know Sandra is not even here, right? Let's see. Freddy, help me please. Number 4. Number 4. They go to the office at 9 p.m. Okay, to the office at 9 a.m. Number five. Kevin, number five. Let's see, Diego, number five. She's working uh, for win the first rank. For win the first rank. Repeat. First rank. First rank. Okay. Number six. Uh, let's see. Help me, please. Who? Nelson, can you help me with number five? Number six, sorry. Number six. Okay. Um, he gave his laughter to his sister. To his sisters. Thank you. Seven. Carmen, can you help me, please? Number seven. Teacher, en esa me quedé, pero... Eh, voy, 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 voy. Estaba Go. viendo... Espérame, espérame, voy, voy, voy. Don't worry. Voy. Deme un segundo. Don't worry. This morning is for bulging, food, not beer, food, not beer. Okay. Sería four en los dos. Repeat. This money this is for money buying food. It's for buying food, not beer. Good. O puede ser, this money is for food, not beer. Great. Thank you. Number eight, please, Jacqueline. Um, I will use this money to buy food, not beer. beer. Repeat, I will use this money. I will use this money to... Money. Money. Yeah. I will I will this money to buy food not beer. Okay. To buy food not beer. Excellent. Number Sorry. 9 please Jennifer Jenny, are you there? 
Maybe she cannot hear me. Um, Miguel, can you help me, please? Number nine. And I am going, going for long. Mm -hmm. For long, go out in the evening. Good. Finally, number 10. Morris, can you help me, please? They, they live, they live for the office, work at 9 a.m. Okay. Así quedan, people. Estarán bien? Estarán mal? We will check then in a second. Just take a look at it. Look at them. Y vamos, people. Let's see. Let's go with the answers. Give me a second. That's what it is, people. Okay? Walking is good for our health. It's a benefit. We stand for peace. You support somebody. Usted apoya a alguien for the government should do something for the poor. Para ayudar a la gente pobre. They go to the office. They go to work at nine. Eh, let's see. They go to. Dijimos que cuando sea go. Y indique, e indiquemos movimiento. Ocupamos to. She's working hard to. Win. ¿Cuál es la razón de trabajar duro? To win the first rank. Todos los dar va a ser tú. He gave his laptop to his sister. This money is for buying food. Para comprar comida. Not beer. Ok. Yo aparte de este dinero y tiene la función específica de comida. El dinero para la cerveza está en otro lado. Pero este es para la comida. Ok. For food. Not beer. I will use this money. No puedo decir for buy. Tengo que decir to buy. I will use this money. La razón del dinero para que es to buy food, not beer. I enjoy going for long walks. Good. And they live for the office. They live for work at 9 a.m. So... People, that's it. What was your score? What score did you get? Well, pues no that, people. If you got, if you got five or less, we need to work. Watch the class again. Look at the explanation. Voy a subir también la, la presentación. And if you think that you don't understand, tell me, dígame, mire, mister, yo ya traté, ya vi la clase, pero no me queda claro. Entonces le puedo asignar tarea especial. But you have to tell me. Usted dígame. Mister, yo no entendí. Can you help me with this one? I will help you. Eh, ¿Qué más? Guys, eh, si tuvo T6 a 8. Good. Vamos por buen camino. Ok. Hay cositas que seguir, tenemos que seguir trabajando. If you got 9 or 10, excellent. You understood this topic. You can move on to uh, the next topic. People, antes de terminar con el 2 y el 4, recuerden esto. Showing purpose. Use 2 and 4. Vamos a ocupar el 2 y el 4 para mostrar un propósito. Ok. Así que no hay diferencia. ¿Se acuerdan que dijimos aquí? More even reasons. Okay. So, people, uh, if you have problems with the electricity, with the electrical power or something, don't worry. I understand. Si no oyen también, ya me dijeron ahí varios que no escuchen. So, thank you so much for letting me know. Okay? People, 
Recordemos. We use for purposes con nouns. We use for purposes con nouns. For. Y con verbos to. We stop at the pub. Nos detuvimos en el bar. Por una bebida. Para beber. For a drink. To drink. I went to London for a conference. I went to London to attend a conference. Yo fui a Londres por una conferencia con el for. Yo fui a Londres para ir a una conferencia. To attend a conference. I am studying, I am studying English for university, for my job. I am studying English to get into university, to improve my English, to get a job. ¿Ok? Entonces, cuidado con el purpose. Algo que sí es bonito, people, para las funciones. Si usted me quiere decir para qué sirve algo, puede ocupar el for, pero ocupa con ing lo que dijimos del WhatsApp. WhatsApp is for sharing information, for calling people, for posting statuses, for post, for taking pictures, for recording videos. O también puede ocupar el to. Eh, WhatsApp is used to share information to chat ¿Qué pasó con eso? Yo veo las cositas. Y hoy se ve que no va a venir usted. 